Welcome to the News at 6. I'm Doug Petcash. Morgan Romero is off today. The FBI's investigation into the Caldwell Police Department is not targeting any current Caldwell police officers. But the investigation is ongoing after a federal jury convicted former Caldwell Police Lieutenant Joseph Hoadley this weekend on three felony charges. The jury found Hoadley guilty of falsifying documents, intimidating a witness, and destroying records. News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline was at the news conference today with the U.S. Attorney, the FBI, and Caldwell's police chief. So, Andrew, where does the, the department go from here? Well, Chief Rex Ingram joined Caldwell PD in June, and the investigation into the department had already been in process by then. Chief Ingram says the department had a bad culture and a bad mindset. He's focused on fixing these problems at the root. The conviction of former Caldwell Police Lieutenant Joseph Hoadley sent a message. This case showed that the badge is not a shield from accountability, and that is how it should be. U.S. Attorney Josh Hurwitt would not comment further on the ongoing FBI investigation into Caldwell Police, but confirmed the department is cooperating. I can report that at this time, no current Caldwell Police Department uh, officials, officers or employees are targets of the FBI investigation. The investigation began after multiple Caldwell officers reported complaints to the FBI. Former Chief Frank Wyant retired amid the investigation, leading the department to new leadership. You know, I've been working around the clock to try to restore order and to try to re-legitimize re the police department. Chief Rex Ingram joined Caldwell Police in June. He says the department had obvious cultural problems, including promotions based on friendships rather than performance and a corrupt internal review process to investigate complaints. When you have a subject of an investigation who's investigating their own complaint, that becomes problematic for me. The optics of that are not only horrendous, but it, it implicates us and it shows prejudice. Caldwell PD now has an independent investigator for internal complaints. Chief Ingram believes the rest of the department's problems can be fixed from the ground up. Systemic means the entire system would be corrupt. Well, it wasn't. It was a specific group of people that were, that were you know, that were part of this culture and tolerated certain types of behavior. Chief Ingram is focused on prioritizing the right behavior to protect the community. All Caldwell officers will be measured to this standard. And at some point, if they can't understand that the community comes first, then they have no purpose in the organization. We couldn't get details regarding the contents of the ongoing FBI investigation. An anonymous source did tell KTVB in March a Caldwell police officer had sex with her in exchange for not arresting her on drug crimes. She tells KTVB she has spoken with the FBI. And regarding to the Hoadley verdict, his sentencing date is set for December 15th. The U.S. attorney would not tell us what they're asking for in sentencing. Each of Hoadley's three charges are punishable by up to 20 years. Andrew, thanks for that update on this case that we've been following very closely for months now.